for the Comcast cable franchise renewal for New York Roll Call, please. Mike Palmer? Here. Ruth Galducci? Here. Bill Henderson? Here. Neil Lyons? Joe Glossman? Joe Reducci? Here. Here. Sorry. Fred Cherry? Here. Mary Blasio? Here. Solicitor McDermott? Here. Engineer Sites? Here. Bar Manager Collins? Here. Police Chief Jack Keene? Bar Chief Chief Bill Chilio? This is a public hearing of the borough, Bridgeville Borough Council regarding the cable franchise renewal for the borough of Bridgeville. This public hearing is held pursuant to section 626 of the Federal Cable Act, uh, which sets forth the process for franchise renewal. The borough's current franchise with Comcast will expire soon, and the borough is beginning the process of renewing the franchise. Uh, this public hearing is part of a preliminary portion of the franchise renewal in which the borough reviews the cable operator's path performance and identifies the borough's future cable-related community needs. As such, as part of this public hearing, we invite comments from any citizens who wish to speak regarding either or both of the uh, aforementioned subjects. Franchise renewal is the best opportunity for municipalities to assert their right with respect to their cable operator and to obtain important benefit in return for granting the cable operator the right to use their public <coughs> right of way. These benefits include uh, state-of-the-art cable system now and in the future, stronger customer service standards, free service to community facilities, better reporting requirements from the cable operators, maximum franchise fees, <coughs> and educational and governmental channel, legal protection, <coughs> and better mechanisms to enforce the franchise agreements. Uh, these are just some of the potential benefits available through the franchise renewal. Citizens may address these items or any other cable related items that are important to them, we now open the hearing up to citizens and comments. And there's nothing to sign it. Mike, I just have a comment. Uh, yes, sir. You read something in there I had kind of before about government and educational channel. Um, is that, are the communities taking advantage of that? Is that something that we look at? Uh, um, I talked to um, the gentleman that handles that program probably a couple years ago. He reached out and asked if we wanted to do something like that. And then it, nothing ever came into fruition. So we are able to, within the contract, to have an educational um, government, you know, uh, channel. And um, the school would um, handle it. I know Collier had, was working with them with it. They were having some a few technical difficulties, but we can look into that. That's that's part of, part of what we're given in the contract. Yeah, we've um, we've talked about it for a long time. I mean, and if it's if now's the time to ask the question of those folks. Yeah, yeah I'm, I mean the contract, the old contract included it, and the new one includes it. It's pretty much a mirror of the old one, so. Would that be just something that we could ask them if we could do, or? Uh, I could call the, you know, up at the school and talk to the audiovisual. Um, yeah, your rights to do it is what's set forth in the franchise contract, and they already have, and they put enhancements to them every decade when they renew those if there's ones that uh, come about. Uh, then it's just, you could do it in other ways. You could do it on the road, you could do it in conjunction with the school. That's, that's um, mm -hmm. Up to you, yeah. well, we can check it up, but we're committed to do it through the contract. Well, we have 33 days here, so let's go to reach a page. <laughs> <laughs> you have 15 minutes to do it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> start reading. <Yeah. coughs> and the purpose of the hearing tonight is really not for the contract itself. Right. It's actually statutorily, whenever this franchise agreement comes up yeah. under the federal regulations, yeah. there's a way that the public to have an opportunity to address. Uh, past performance. And Does this get posted to public? Publicly, this table, and this car truck? Again. For a bit They're always. Whoever's on the air, they want to know. Is that the existing? It's existing. Yeah. And then the one will be a little bit the same, a little bit different. Wait, are you saying the one that you provided us with? that was attached to this agenda mm -hmm. is not the new contract? It is the new contract, 
Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, it's a draft of the renewal. It's a draft, yeah. draft, 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 draft of the renewal. Yeah. He's, he, he's already done with Comcast. Oh. And we joined in with, with mm -hmm. the COG to do the Verizon one because it was cheaper and everybody is up at the same time for Verizon. Whereas Comcast, everybody has different renewal dates. So, um, you know, ours happen to come at the same time. So they're working on a Verizon one with the COG. So we should be getting that pretty soon. It'll be the same process. Pretty, so pretty, much, the, pretty much the same process. And the interesting thing is the, la the language in the contract that, <coughs> that a number of times points out that you have to treat Verizon and Comcast the same. There's people that... Good. Shall we answer this Verizon and this Comcast? You guys have Comcast here, anybody? I got Comcast. Comcast. Mm -hmm. I have Verizon. I have both. <laughs> Verizon showed up on my door looking for just got it. competitive office to exam. They're, they're walking around all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To make an offer. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, is that it? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed?